What is a term paper? Is a term paper an essay? A term paper is a form of research paper that is written at the end of a semester. It is an essay, but a really long one. It helps in assessing a student's competency in the course. The instructor can assign the term paper topic or you can choose it yourself. Most of the time, the topic is based on the course material. Term papers are present in all disciplines. If you are a curious person, you can find tons of term paper samples that have scored a grade of A on the website of the University of Delaware. You can see term papers for courses like nursing, marketing, education, medicine, computer science, etc. So, you can hire us if you want someone to write your term paper that will earn you high grades. We have a gigantic pool of term paper writers always available to offer the best term paper writing service. In addition to increasing a student's knowledge, a term paper serves other functions such as learning about problems in your discipline and how to solve them. Also, it enhances your writing, analytical, and critical thinking skills which are essential in your academic and adult life. Which academic papers are highly confused with term papers? A large number of students confuse term papers and research papers, while others classify theses, dissertations, and coursework the same as term papers. Why does confusion exist between these academic papers? What are their differences? We understand why students find it hard to differentiate between these papers. The main reason is that all of them are done in a specific semester, but overall, they all differ. Term papers versus research papers. What is the difference between a research paper and a term paper? The difference between the two is as follows. Multiple research papers can be assigned in one semester, while only one term paper is done in a semester. Research papers are shorter, take less time to work on, and their scores do not have as many points as what is seen on term papers. So, how many pages should a term paper have? There is no exact answer to this, as it depends on your school and instructor. But, in general, it is a long essay, much more extended than the average research paper, however, the structuring and formatting of the two are somehow similar. For instance, if for science-related papers, they most of the time are structured as follows, abstract, introduction, literature review, methodology, results, discussion, conclusion, references, appendix, term papers versus thesis versus. Dissertations, on the other hand, the thesis is done by master's students. And it is the only one in the entire program, while a dissertation is done once by a PhD student, and it is the most extended graded paper students will ever write. A term paper differs from these two papers in that it is written more than once during the entire program and can be found in undergraduate courses like bachelor's and diplomas, term paper versus coursework. Lastly, we'll look at coursework. Coursework is any graded activity that students do in their course. Therefore, a term paper is part of coursework. How do you structure a term paper? Before creating your term paper outline, you should first know the entire structure of your term paper. The structure depends on many aspects, such as the field of study, the school, instructor, and to some extent, the student. The general structure of a term paper should have the details below, title page, cover page. It contains elements such as your name, course name and number, instructor's name, and date, abstract. An abstract is like a summary of the entire term paper. It allows the readers to understand the subject matter and the importance of choosing it. The abstract should be less than a page long, table of contents, this part is required to simplify navigation between the term paper sections. Typically, it consists of headings for each section together with their pages, introduction, this is the opening paragraph that gives the reader some of the basics of the paper, body, the body comprises vital points from your research. It may have sections such as a literature review, a methodology, results, and discussion. The sections ought to logically follow each other. The literature review profoundly discusses pieces of research that have been done on the topic. In the methodology, you state how you collected your data. In the results, you explain your findings. In the discussion, you mention how the findings fit into the broader context. In the discussion, conclusion, in this section, a writer needs to restate the thesis statement and the key findings. Also, highlight the importance of the findings and offer some suggestions, like those of future research, references. This section holds the full details of all the cited sources in the term paper. Appendix, this section contains supplemental information that would have distracted the essay's body. 
Items commonly placed in the appendix include images, questionnaires, and tables. These are the general details of a term paper structure. You can contact us when you find applying these sections and their elements challenging while writing a term paper. We offer cheap and unmatched term paper writing services. We will give you tutoring services, or we can write your term paper for you. How do you write a college term paper? How do you write a college term paper? You should put a lot of effort into your term paper as it carries many points. Use the steps below to write a college term paper that is out of the ordinary. The steps are, choose your topic, do a thorough research, create a term paper outline, write a proposal, write your paper, review and revise the final copy, how to choose good term paper topics, sometimes your professor may tell you to select your own term paper topic. If this is the situation you are in, then this section is meant for you, the universal strategy for choosing a topic is picking one that interests you. Never forget this rule. At the same time, it should fulfill the objective of the course. You can apply various strategies to brainstorm the topic. Surf the net and read articles, blogs, magazines, and news. Try as much as possible not to pick extremely trendy or overused topics. Mainstream matters poorly attract the interest of instructors or readers. What other factors you should consider when choosing a term paper topic? A length. Before choosing a topic, know the length of the term paper you are writing. By being mindful of the length, you can tell how narrow or broad the subject will be once you settle on a topic. Difficulty. Make sure you can give a good discussion of your topic, irrespective of how complex it may be. If you have questions, do not be ashamed to consult experts. You can ask your professor or request help from us at Homework Market. Our team has professionals that provide term paper writing services, so you will be in safe hands with us. Resources, search for resources before you settle on a topic. Ensure there are enough resources to help you answer all the term paper questions. 5 Crucial Tips for Writing a Term Paper Follow the tips we have provided below to improve the quality of your term paper further. Support your statements. Always defend your points with facts or logic. Use reliable sources. Make sure all the sources you use are reliable. Your text should be clear, objective, and complete. Avoid passive voice, repetitions, and nested sentences. Give credit when you use someone's work. Remember to cite and provide a full reference when you use ideas or expressions of another person. Failure to do so may cost you points, and the effects may even be dire if you are pursuing advanced degrees, cite correctly. Use the formatting provided in your term paper prompt to structure your citations. The three most used citation formats are APA, MLA, and Chicago. Each of these formats has its own way of structuring in-text citations and references. Keep in mind that these formats are updated every other year, so ensure you are using the up-to-date standard or the one instructed by your term paper prompt.